All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour. We are gonna be doing round three of the Masters here. We're tied with Patrick Cantley uh, atop the leaderboard at 11 under par, and Keegan Bradley is in T3. We're gonna be teeing off with Patrick Cantley at 1.33 p.m. and hopefully putting ourselves in a position to win this thing for Sunday. We had a really good round two. If you missed round two, check it out. It was an absolute banger. We popped off. And it from really put us in prime position because we went, yeah, I think we shot 10 Georgia. under in round two. We went from one under so to 11 under with a 62 at Augusta. And that would be the course Today record if it wasn't for Scotty Scheffler shooting 59 three, four seasons ago in the game. Uh, but here we go. Patrick Cantley, he ruined our hopes and dreams once before. He's here to try and do it again. Welcome to the Masters. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm excited, I'm delighted, and I'm ready to go. A 71 in round one. Oh, I think I can go over the bunker this time. Is that crazy? Is that stupid? Is that dumb? You know what? Fuck it. It's a Wednesday, baby. You know what that means. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I'll tell you, I don't, but it is what it is. We're here on a Wednesday. I know that much. That's a beauty. Come on. Money shot. Sit. 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 All right, it's fine. Slight rough. That's perfect. Mm, that is a little 97 yard shot the from the second cut. the second cut. That's my golden range right there. Played golf in real life yesterday as well, guys, by the way. Played nine holes. So I played nine holes. Uh, I played nine holes on Saturday and I played nine holes on Wednesday. No hole in ones yesterday in my group. Embarrassing. You know, uh, but yeah, it was it was really fun. Uh, played nine holes, and I think I was five over for the nine holes. So, uh, still getting back into it. I played eighteen holes over the last three months. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a work in progress at the moment. Though the weather's just not been there. The weather, the conditions are tough. I'm like hitting my driver, like when I hit it well. To be fair, I do have a different swing, short backswing. Still trying to get swing speed into it. I'm not fully committing to the swing yet i feel like but i'm oh, man, uh, the conditions good. that we're in the, the weather is so damp and cold out there that my driver is carrying like 200 to 215 <laughs> you know it's like it's crazy just it's crazy um crazy grim out there the distance that you have to like account for like in the winter compared to the summer like i um, in the winter it's like two clubs more at least uh at times you know even without the wind and sometimes it's very windy. All right, let's try to put one close here, right off the rip. I think this could be a little too much, so I'm going to take a little off that. Because we got a perfect line, you know? I'm going to just go something like this. No, don't underswing it after bringing it back. If I'd underswung it without bringing it back, it would have been perfect. Stop. Stop, somehow, stop. Okay, it does stop. That's all right. It's a beautiful, beautiful life. Patrick Cantley misses left. And he has to try and get up and down on the first hole here. It's not bad. Plays a little spinner. Gets it to stop eight foot from the pin. He's going to have that to save a par. Will he make it? Probably. And let's have a look at this here. So, it definitely turns left to right. Even though it's above? Why is this above? I guess right at my feet it turns to the turns to the left. But then it turns back to the right pretty much the whole way. So this is kind of a little bit of a confusing putt here. Being quite honest. But I think we'll go with this. Oh, it just needed a little bit more. See, I was put off by the start of the putt because it was saying one degree above. It was going to turn left right off the rip, but it did turn back quite significantly at the end there. I think if I had a little more pace, it might have held its line. By the way, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, guys, please do use my code, the Apex Hound. Patrick Cantley misses. Get in there. Now you have to try Rogue Energy. Give it a shot. I'm mixing strawberry kiwi with uh, with rainbow candy today. I Honestly, my go-to is just mix strawberry kiwi with something. <laughs> it, it's always good. I, I promise you, strawberry kiwi is just magic. You can just have it by itself as well, but I like the I like the mixes. Okay, that's in Jesus, that turned a lot. Yeah, give it a shot. Use my code day, Apex Sound to check out. You get 20% off and uh, see if you like it. All right, guys, perfect start. Patrick Kentley makes a bogey, and we move to one shot clear. Hopefully the AI keeps playing dog shit. I would love that. Narin. Oh, look at that. Alex Narin. The sweet freak himself. Alex Narin is probably my favorite Alex from Sweden. All right, let's, uh, let's just bomb this. 
Let's bomb it. Wind is kind of awkward here because it's sending it out to the right. This one moving just a little um, bit to the right. And you kind of want to hit a draw on it, but that's going to be a okay to be honest. Yeah, carried it 344. Drive. Only carrying it about 140 well, yards longer than I was in real life. And when I say carry distance as well yesterday, the ball is not running at all. Because it's soft as hell because of all the rain we've had. Like the ball would maybe run a yard or two. <laughs> if you're lucky. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's pretty crazy. I had to be taking like so much more club than I would generally know to take. Like I was hitting a six iron. Like before my injury, right? I would hit a six iron. 190 to 195 kind of maybe six iron i could hit a hard one to 200 um and now after my injury i like to be fair it's winter oh, conditions i was hitting like one, 155 160 kind of way of but like i think generally if, if the conditions were good it's sunny it's crisp air out i think i will be hit, hit, hitting it back closer to to, find the green into to 180 i don't think i'll, I'll get back to where i was for a while at least on on full distance because like i have new set of clubs i'm uh, shorter backswing slower swing speed like it's gonna take a hot minute for me to get back to back to full but the slower swing speed i feel like i have more control anyway so i'm not super mad about it like i'm i'm my irons are pretty good at the moment it's just my off the tee like i'm i'm not getting enough distance off the tee with the driver but towards the end of the round i started getting into it i hit like a 215 yard drive 200 yard three wood as well and was kind of getting back into the rhythm of it a little bit but it's gonna take some time all right let's see what we can do here so this awkward little pin position i still think that's too much club I know it's into the wind, but I still get the feeling that's not going to quite penetrate, or that will penetrate the wind with how far downhill this is. So I'm going to go with something like this. A little bit of a high fade. So good. Oh, wow. Really? Not even close. I thought that was going to be pretty good. It was bloody 13 yards right of the pin. That's insane. All right, me and Patrick both in the bunker. Looking at four. Pretty good shot from Cantley. He's okay. going to be looking to make a, a birdie to bounce back from the bogey. Now, I cannot, in good conscience, hit the blast here because there's just not enough green to work with. But I think we can hit a full pick and make this work. Yeah, pretty good. Same as Cantley, pretty much. Yeah, if we can get uh, a birdie, be one on through two and uh, gain a shot on Cantley. On the first hole, maybe on the second hole if he decides to miss. But I think he'll bounce back from the from the bogey. Yes, he does. He does indeed. We got our master's uh, our master's green on as well, which is good. This is the Clara Quack. Clara Quack um, collaboration. All right, let's see if we can make this work. It does, yeah. It breaks back the other way is what worries me. So I'm going to play this, like, right edge. I'm not going to give away the hole at all. Correct decision. Correct decision. And we move to one under par for the day. One shot clear of Patrick Cantlay. We're cooking. Is it going to be one of those days where me and Patrick Cantley just completely run away from the field? Could be. Wind is... But this is a wonderful hole. Oh, I can make this work. And you need some touch here. You need some touch indeed, buddy. And I'm going to show you some touch. Fade. Fade heavy, man. Fade heavy. Get up on there. Yeah, All right. It's up onto the green. But I, honestly, probably the best place to be chipping from because you're going into the upslope. It's unlucky to go. Oh, that is fairway. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know about that. But yeah, I feel like that's the best place to actually be pitching from if you could choose because you're playing into the upslope, whereas the other ones are kind of landing on a on a slide uh, side slope from right to left or yada yada. So I think being down there is not a bad position at all. Can't play ups to lay up. Yeah, that's a nice swing and the result is... And puts it to about 70, 80 yards. 78 yards. Sunshine, well, paper, Patrick. Can't play. If you don't pay attention, green oh, is Patrick. From right oh, to left. Patrick. That's okay. All right, 11 foot for Patrick. See what I mean? Where this is like a spinner here could be absolutely ideal. I'm actually going to play past the pin because it's uphill into the wind. Past the pin. The spinners usually you don't want to play past the pin, but I think this could work perfectly. 
Oh, it's magic. Mm, I've left myself a little tester there. That will still be a tester because that. Uh, I feel like when you're above the pin at all on this green, it's going to turn like crazy. It's going to be downhill. It's going to be tough. But yeah, you'll see, you'll see how far out to the right Cantley's aiming now. But he makes... No, he doesn't. He misses. I thought he was going to make back-to-back -back birdies. He does not. But we can. We absolutely can here, folks. Yeah, it does break. But you know what? If we just play through that, it'll be fine. Yeah, no Thank God for the new cup physics. Bang, bang, back to back birdies. Let's go. Back to back birdies. And we're two shots clear of Patrick Cantley. Now, two shots clear in this game is absolutely nothing. The AI can go on a run of six birdies like it's nothing in the world. Like it's not a problem. So we need to keep up with them. All right? We need to keep up with them. And we need to, realistically, if I beat Cantley today up, in any capacity, I, I'll, I'll be pretty happy. If I have a solo lead heading into round four, I'll be happy. And I'd be over the moon if I have, like, three shot plus lead going into Sunday. But we can't get ahead of ourselves, you know? That's the thing. We cannot get ahead of ourselves. Now, this is clearly too much. I reckon that's still clearly too much. And I reckon this is still too much. <laughs> like, is that crazy? 252. I think if I'm, I can make this one work. Maybe not that much fade, though. All right, let's make it work. Wow, did I really hit that that much overswing? No! Yeah, to be honest, it, it was too much club. And I was thinking that, but I didn't want to commit to hitting, like, 50 yards short of the pin, but I needed to. With, that, with how far downhill and how far... Um, the wind was with us there. I needed to hit a six iron. 100%. 100%. Patrick Cantley might have figured it out here. That's an absolute beauty from Cantley. Just falls off to the left. He's a little unlucky. Everyone yeah, stands okay. up in their seats. I feel like that might be a bit extreme. But I think we have to play a flop here. That's the only way we can realistically get this close. So let's play a flop, put it close. Make a par, move on. This hole is a par all day. 6% underswing? Fuck me, really? Oh, you'd say that's a good chance. But it's just, it's a difficult putt still. No doubt. I would like to be in gimme range there. Patrick Cantley's not going to make the birdie either, so we're fine. Alright, turning. One of those ones where I can't see it. Usually this fixes it, though. Okay, yeah, it does. So, if you have that issue where, you, like on the Masters, that branding is in the way, you double tap the touchpad really quickly comes back and it's out of your way so just a tip for you guys yes huge putt goes in with some venom too those new cup physics yes lad helping me out here big time because i feel like with the old cup physics that would have either gone over the edge or reverse slip out or something i don't know but it's a huge par putt, man. Big par putt early. We're two shots clear of Cantley. And we want to stay that way if possible. That's magical, baby. Magical. I need to take a sip of Rogue Energy to calm down, even though this has been this is caffeinated, though. So it's going to make me uh, calm up. <laughs> it's actually tough being this funny. You know? It's tough being this shit as well. What an awful golf shot that is. Might stay in the fairway, though. It won't. It's not too bad. Honestly, it's second cut, 190 yards. It's a tough hole regardless. We will make that work. Patrick Cantley. Pretty good shot. No issues here. Pretty good shot, but he's way back. 216. He's not that far back, actually. I thought he was a lot further back. Can't lay it with the iron. That's short and right. And see you later. Oh, that actually got a big bounce forward. But that's going to come back. That's going to be an awful putt. I would literally hate that well, putt, Patrick. Not as close to the pin 60 as foot. Like Watch him make that now somehow. All right. Uh, so what am I doing here? There is a bit of a slope. Like It's an awkward one because it feels like at, to the right of the pin, slope's coming back. To the left of the pin, sloping off the green. So I don't want to be long here, but I feel like this is going to be the club. I just, I don't actually mean, I don't think I want to hit a hack. No, I'm not going to hit a hack. I'll just hit the 7-iron straight up like this. Perfect. 
At, at worst, we're short. And I don't really see a problem with that. But I need to aim a little further left. That wind is strong. That looked like it went straight right. Yeah, it did. I don't know why that went so far right. Straight off the face of the club, though. And it wasn't enough club anyway, dickhead. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I was just talking about how bad Patrick's putt is. And I gave myself pretty much the same. This one's computed at an even <laughs> oh, 59 feet foot and 57 birdie. foot. I think we'd both take two putts and run to the next tee box, to be quite perfectly frank with you. To be quite honest with you, mate, I would anyway. I know that much. I don't know if the AI would. All right, so we saw his putt. It turns right at the start and then starts to... Or sorry, turns left at the start. To, starts to turn back. He didn't give it enough juice. It's a pretty good putt now. It's uphill then downhill, so I think it's a little bit more uphill, to be fair. So let's try and read it here. Um, so yeah, uphill, it does go left at the start a little bit, and then back to, honestly, I don't think there's that much in this. Being genuinely serious, I don't think there's that much in this. I think maybe it goes a tiny bit harder left at the very start. Actually, I'm going to play this just dead straight. I, I'm being serious, I think I'm going to play this dead straight 65, foot. maybe not even that much, 60, 60, 62. Alright, let's give it a go. Dead straight. I think this could be dead straight. You might like this one. You might really like it. Oh! oh. I thought we had it, man. I thought we had it. He might really like it. I was getting juiced when he was saying that. Come on. Oh, that would have been such an epic putt to make. Patrick Cantley. Cleans yeah, up for his power, and he stays at level power, 11 under in the tournament. We stay at 13 under, we very nearly moved three shots clear right there, but we'll settle for the power. It's a good start, we're two under power, and uh, the back nine's usually where I pop off at Augusta anyway, so, well, the start of the back nine maybe, sometimes. <laughs> Cantley's 11 under, Norrin is one shot back of Cantley at 10 under. This hole is pest. This hole is a pest in my side, man. I don't know what it is about this goddamn stupid hole, but I suck at it. Simple stuff, I flat out suck at this hole. Alright, I'm gonna give it a bash with a straight up 8 iron. A little bit of a low fade. You're kidding me, it's not enough. God, why do I all- I- Oh, I can never get the distance control right on this hole. I either overread how far downhill it is, or I underread it. I can never find the balance on this hole. Ever. Get good, scrub. That is so infuriating. That happens every single time I play this hole. God almighty. To be fair, like, I guess the wind was kind of affecting that one a little bit more. It was into us more than it wasn't, you know? But, ah, that's infuriating, lad. Absolutely infuriating. Okay, a little be Should I play a blast or a pick here? I actually think I could get this running with a blast, maybe. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with the blast. Good shot. Really good bunker shot. Mm, Leave ourselves four foot for par. He's got a birdie putt. Can't get back within one. Birdie. I really want to keep that two shot lead heading to the back nine, man. I'd love to keep it or extend it even. But Cantley's not going to let me get away with it, is he? Oh, he is just about. But we still got to make our putt. We still got to make our putt to keep our two shot lead. It's just about keeping him at bay, really, isn't it? It's just about keeping Patrick consistently at bay. I'm not going to give away the hole here. I'm just going to go. I'm nicely read there. Good putt. Three holes left on the front nine. 13 on the par. Right where he is. And we're cooking, baby. We are cooking. I think there was another update for the game, actually. Craig sent over the patch notes. Um, let me just have a quick look there. Safely in for par here at the six. Oh, yeah. Ryder Cup. Uh, four ball and foursomes are back in the game, actually. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's just that mode coming back in. Those two modes coming back in. And there's also, like, a little bit of a fixes and stuff like that bug fixes and stuff so this is a little bit of a nasty one straight into the wind i'm just gonna play this a little bit lower this drive and just try and get it running a little bit of a low draw perfect is it drawing though as much as i needed to no it's not 
It's fine though. No problem Still gonna stay in the fairway. Actually, that's it's perfect. Wind up safe Ideal. In the fairway. I don't know where the pin is. I can't see up there on the green. I should have probably checked that first, because it does make a difference on this whole which side of the fairway you want to be on based on where the pin is. So it's something you should probably check now that you can with the green view. Patrick Cantley plays it down the left side. Yeah, that's a good tee shot right there. Got yeah, no, it's all right. I wouldn't say it's good. It's that's all right. Where you want to be. Okay. Don't say it's good. No, I'm just joking. All right. From the fairway. I still can't see. Am I blind? Well positioned. Must be over the, the left fairway, based on where he's aiming. There is no guarantees to it's the, I think it's the middle left. It uh, the middle left one. Oh no, it's the, the, the middle front one. Okay. And precision is a okay. Middle front one well is not too bad if you're close, but I feel like with this wind, it actually might be perfect. Could this work perfectly? Might seem like a little bit much, but I think this could work. I'm going to play a little bit of a high draw to try and counteract that wind a touch. Actually, I need to be careful of the trees, so I'm going to play the fade instead of the draw. Too hard. Maybe. Might be okay. That is a lot of zip off there. That's unfortunate. Really? Oh my god. Fucking hell. I do need think I deserved all that, son. Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. Uh, I need to play the pick and go past it, I think, because it could come back into the bunker or come back to our feet if we're not careful. Jesus, that's a disaster, that one. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! What's up with the zip this screen gives, man? The screen is receptive compared to some of the other ones. Alright, we have five foot for par. We're struggling. We're, we're kind of grinding at the moment, but we have the par five next. If we can get away with the par here. Um, and Cantley's giving himself birdie chances as well. He's not going to keep missing these. For now he is. For now he is. We're lucky Cantley's not putting well, because otherwise it'd be level right now. Alright, it does turn a little bit. Even though it says it level, it's level, it does turn a little bit left or right. Yes, huge putt, huge putt, baby. 13 under par, two under through seven. We've had to grind for a couple of pars in a row there. We've had some good up and downs out of the bunker. And the fact that we're bogey free through these first seven holes is quite impressive. Our scrambling has been on point. Scrambling's been on point indeed. Hell yeah. By the way, we just uh, increased our membership numbers again, by the way. So early access for these, um, for most of my videos going forward i'm going to be doing like a day early access uh stuff like that for the impossible challenge and other series and then the exclusive videos as well of course will be uh will be coming and the best of the month as well so that's something santa kagi is working on currently uh best moments of the month that will be going up in a video like on the on the first of the month so that'll probably be tomorrow that that will go up and that will be for members only after January. So January, it will be going out to the full public. And then February, March, April, whatever, so on and so forth, yeah, best moments of the month, there. will be uh, members only. Um, obviously, hole. the public will get the full video at the end of the year where it's like the best of 2023. And this will kind of be a good way to keep track of all my best moments uh, throughout the year as well um, for a video at the end of the year, you know. Um, and I think that will be a cool, member, uh, cool video for, for members, I think. <clears throat> just kind of like a compilation of my best moments with music and stuff like that i must get on to mm, sanaka you know about that he'll be editing five. this video it's and then the probably after this one he'll be able to work fully on that video on the right side if you find your ball in here you have no option but to lay up can't he has to lay up he put himself in the worst possible position in that bunker we've put ourselves yeah, in position a and i think this we can make this work now it's 201 to the front that pin is up the, the back trying to fit it in that narrow opening oh, i think i can make this work perfectly though that's the thing all right let's try it oh please be the one please be the one i've dreamed of please be the one i've dreamed of in my dreams in my nightmares oh my god what a shot go in the hole that is disgustingly good. Disgustingly good. If that doesn't make the best moments of fucking January, what are we talking about here, Santa Kagi? What are we talking about? Come on. Eagle. That's an eagle. Chalk it down, because I'm not missing that. Come on. Patrick Cantley needs a good one. 
or he's in danger of falling behind here. If he makes a par and I make an eagle, it's going to be a four-shot lead. Come on, baby. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Patrick Cantley from right to left. He makes one finally. He needed it. He needed it badly. And he makes it. He gets within one for the time being. But we have a chance to extend it to three. Have that, Patrick. Have that, you slow play scumbag. Come on. Four under to eight. And we're cooking. Let's close off the front nine with a bang. We're 15 under par. Ah, oh, look at Alex Norrin. 11 under. He's not going away yet. We are playing some magic golf here. feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. Could this be the moment? Could this be the time? We finally win the Masters. It's moving day at the Masters, and we're making a move away from Patrick Antley. Come on, baby. I'm hyped. That eagle got me juiced up, man. Let's go. Patrick Cantley from right to left. Go on down there, son. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, Terrible shot. Embarrassing. Shot. No, I'm just right joking. It's, be it's pretty good. Cantley going right at it with an iron. Is he going to use the backstop? It looks like he might. He doesn't really need to. That's a great shot from Patrick Cantley. And now he's found this form that I made an eagle. Whenever I make an eagle, I swear the AI goes down and run a birdies. <laughs> All right. I, do I play a little knockdown here, potentially? We don't have much room to work with. And I feel like it's going to be very difficult to stop this zipping back. So I'm going to play a little low one here. So I don't want this to zip. I want this to stop dead as, as much as we possibly can. I'm going to play left of the pin a little bit. Because there's a little bit more room to the left of it. But I think this is going to be an extremely difficult golf shot. It's not getting there. Fuck me. Oh How does that... Is that going to get up? No, it will How? Not. Like, that wasn't even close to making it either. Goodbye. Fucking Christ off above, man. Green. That's insane to me. All right, let's just try and make this work. A zip! Oh, it stays there. Oh, no. Wow, this is going to be a PDFU if we don't make this. And this is very difficult. I mean, extremely difficult, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's a really good effort, honestly. Really good effort. We're going to tap in for a bogey, unfortunately. Cantley has this for a birdie. And he'll be one back if he makes this. It's going to be a two-shot swing. A two-shot swing if Patrick Cantley makes this right after I just eagled. He does. Patrick Cantley, two under front nine. And for me, it's a three under front nine with a bogey on nine. It's a criminal bogey on nine after. Just, oh, how is it one shot game? How is it a one shot game? Like the AI just finds a fucking way whenever you start playing well. They really do. Oh, that's my own fault though. Silly bogey, man. A really silly, silly bogey that is. All right, back nine. Here we go. Patrick Cantley playing a big draw. That looks like that's absolutely splendid from Cantley. And it is. It's a great drive from Cantley. 155 yards left. He's put himself in prime position. I'm going to do my usual thing here. The old stinger around the corner. Because I feel like it just works every time. So I might as well... Stick at it. And that's absolutely... Oh, I clipped the tree there. Eh? I think I clipped the tree, but it's not going to affect it too much. In fact, it's going to be bloody ideal. What a shot. All right, we're actually closer than Cantley. Even though he had a full driver draw over the tree, round the corner. Mine still went further. That's why I think that shot that's perfect there. It really is. From the fairway. 155 to the hole. Tough win for a right-hander coming from left to right. Can't lay. Good shot. Is this going to be enough? I feel like it's going to be on the limit. I think if I overswing this a touch, it should be it should be really good. God, I'm not playing enough wind, man. I'm fucking not playing enough wind. 
Like that wasn't even close to enough wind. And I've and done that multiple times now. Dead. And the, the, the wind is in from left to right. I, distance, I'm not playing it enough. You don't leave yourself like a Fucking like insane how, how little I'm playing it. Like. Gonna have to be good. I thought I was playing that quite a bit, to be fair. But not even close to enough. Like, not even remotely close. Patrick Cantmate oh, nearly makes it and nearly makes three straight birdies, but luckily for us, he doesn't. But he still is going to tap in for par. I'd love to get the two-shot lead back right here and now. But it's going to be a tall order. Fucking hell, I smashed it. I didn't think it was that far downhill. It was pretty far downhill in the end. All right, it does turn a little bit. But I don't think this can be too extreme. Good putt for the par. We'll stay one shot clear of Patrick Cantley. Eight holes to go. I want to be two two shots clear by the end of this thing, you know? Come on. We still got the scorable part coming up. We got a t couple tough holes ahead of us now. With the long par four and then, of course, the, uh, the iconic par three. But, yeah, I, I think this is, like one of the toughest holes on the course this next one here because it's just so long that's what she said yeah. white dog what it's called 520 yards like that's a par five <laughs> you know what i mean like that is a par five it's a crazy how far the pros hit it though you know like that's a par six for me in real life you know what i mean like it's crazy all right patrick bang bang patrick can't my hits a banger Hello, Patty the Ice. Safely in the fairway. Patty, Patty Ice, baby. All right, let's see what we can do here. Boom! Baba Booey! This a bomb. That's an right absolute side. bomb. I'm carrying it further than pa Patrick Kentley's total distance. Oh, and that is going to be position A+. plus. That's a wedge from there. On this hole, to be hitting a wedge in is just a criminally good now can't play doesn't have that much either to be fair the wind was quite helpful here it's not uh it's not that playing that crazy long today Cantley hits it perfectly i think it's gonna kick on perfectly much who doesn't grips still a still a putt now i do not like that win man all right i gotta make this work i think this this will work play a little more wind though play a little more goddamn wind Come on, baby. Talk dirty to me. Go. 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 I didn't underswing that. That's in the hole. <laughs> Perfect shot, though. And gives us a really good look at birdie here. A birdie here would be stealing one on the field, quite realistically. Uh, but can't play. You never know. He might make it before me. Let's come back. It wouldn't surprise me if he does now, to be honest. It would not surprise me if he does that. Don't. Oh. <laughs> that would have been quite unfortunate indeed. Breaks right to left. Quite clearly the whole way. I wouldn't say it's extreme, but I think that should work. Bang! Bang! Come on! Hell of a birdie here on 11. We move back to four under par. We move back to two shots clear. Come on! We needed that. We needed that for the momentum, baby. For the momentum. Bang! Right, Naren's kind of playing himself out of it now. He get, he's getting to 11 under, and that's like the max he's getting to. He's going backwards after that. All right, we head to the Golden Bell, one of the most famous par threes in world golf. But the wind is something else here. The wind is something else indeed. Trying best as you can to gauge the wind. Absolutely. What about a finesse pitching wedge? What about a full gap wedge? Mm, I think that could be the that could be the play. All right, play for enough wind. Play for enough wind. Oh. It wasn't slow. I reckon that's going to be all over the okay, pin on distance-wise at least. But, okay, just a little short. 16 foot. Pretty good. We played for enough wind that time. I just need to learn my lesson from not playing from enough wind to play for enough goddamn wind. Patrick Cantley going right at it. That looks a better golf shot. Oh, my. Oh, my God. He nearly jars it. Patrick Cantley gives himself a birdie putt. He's not going to let me get two shots clear. He just will not allow it, you know? <laughs> For long periods of time, he's like, all right, that's enough of that. 
Is it really 1.4 degrees above? I guess right at my feet it turns a lot and then it kind of fizzles out, I reckon. No fuck! Dude, I should have just stuck with my first instinct, but the 1.4 degree above threw me off. I was like, right at my feet, it must turn a lot. But it, it really didn't. It did not. That's infuriating, because I had it right in the middle if I left it with my first instinct. Can't, mate. Back to a thin one. Whenever you get to a head, they start making birdies. It's crazy. Say no to that. All right, we head to the, the most scorable part of the course. Now these next three holes, let's try and go. Let's try and get to 18 under by the end of these three. I don't care. Let's do it. No reason we can't. Eagle one of them. Eagle one of the next three. I don't care if it's the par four either. Patrick Cantley taking a five wood or a seven wood or a three wood. One of them, he's taking a fairway wood. That's probably a three wood. He hit pretty far. But real decision. Perfect. Just ideal, really. That is so good, it's insane. That's gonna be an iron from there, no doubt. 176 left, and we put ourselves in position A to make an eagle now. Position A. Got four under GUR, GIRs. Uh, we're about to get a second right now, that's for damn sure. Patty, Patty Cantley, you maniac, mate. <laughs> Patrick Cantley forced to lay up. To be fair, I'm very glad, glad we're only 176 because this front fin position is very difficult to hold if you're hitting any more than that. It's still going to be difficult now because yeah, it did well just to advance the ball. So I think you can make a 163 work. I'm serious. Oh, I overswung it because I was scared of going short, though. To be fair, you can see why I was scared, but. Yeah, it's not even going to be a GI under GI or now. It's disappointment, really. But as long as we make the birdie, I'm not too not too pressed about it. That's a pretty good shot from Cantley. Like he was, that was a little cutter that one. Spinner, I think I'm going to play the spinner. Yeah, it's downhill pretty much the whole way. I didn't even mean to check that now. Uh, okay, land a little short. Perfect. Tap in birdie. That's exactly what we want. Take the pressure off completely and put it on to Cantley. What's an advanced GIR? Not sure. Oh, he misses! I thought that was in for sure. He misses. That's huge. A par from Cantley is huge here for us. Come on. Back to a two-shot lead, baby. Back to a two-shot lead. Come on now. Exactly what we need. Okay, safely in for par. Exactly what we need. I'd love Cantley to just have a bad finish here, you know? It's not going to happen, but I'd love to just see him. If we had a good finish and we had a bad finish, we end up like five shots clear at the end. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the scenes if that happens? All right. Good good stuff, though. We're five under for the round now. Things are looking good. 16 under over, overall. Two shots clear of Patty Ice. Two shots clear of Patty Ice. The most difficult in golf. Perfect shot. Look at that. That is laser straight. Wind straight into us, so it's going to be playing a little bit longer, but as straight as you can hit a drive right there. Does he have that dog in him? He's playing three wood again. He's sticking to his, uh, he's sticking to his game. Three wood into a 14 mile an hour wind, though. He's going to have a long way in here, sir. 187 yards. I guess it's not too bad, but I would rather something closer to my distance. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design of the green. Patrick Cantley cutting it through the wind, and that's a beauty. Amazing oh, it's really good. It's really, really good from Patrick Cantley. He's sticking to his game plan. He's probably going to make that, too, because I just made one. Got two shots clear. That means he's making a birdie as well. You know? Right. That's not enough. Is that enough? I think I'm going to hit a full nine iron here. Really? Fucking that fast? Come on, man. I didn't mean to skip that. I did not mean to skip that, but... Okay. This is going to be pretty much a flat out... Oh, oh, for fuck's sake! Like, I missed the slope by that much. That is so infuriating, dude. Like, I really missed the putt by that much. That is just heartbreaking, realistically. Because this putt is flat out impossible to get close. Like, I'm not even exaggerating either. This is pretty much flat out impossible to get close. Like, I don't even know what to do here. 
Look at that. <laughs> like, that's as good as I could have done, really. It's so, so unfortunate. Like, if I had even been a foot further to the right, we would have came back down and been putting from here for birdie. Like, that is so upsetting. And Patrick Cantley is going to birdie this hole as well. We could be tied for the lead after this. I'm not even joking. God, like, that is fucking annoying to think about. Oh, come on! Give me something! What a joke of a bogey that is. And Cantley's gonna fucking birdie it, and we're gonna be tied for the lead. What an absolute clusterfuck of a hole that was for us. So unlucky, man. Genuinely so unlucky. Get out of here. Like, honestly, it's such bullshit. It's insane. We're tied for the lead. It's ridiculous, though. Every time I go two shots clear, Patrick Cantley birdies the next hole. Every single fucking time. But to be fair, I've actually bogeyed twice after getting two shots clear as well, so it's my own fucking fault. It's ridiculously stupid for me. God, I'm so annoyed right now. We need to get back in it now because we can easily be egoless with a good drive and a good shot. Such a good drive. It's insane. Right, that's as good a drive as you could ever hope to hit in your life. That's gonna be an, uh, that's gonna be might even be a wedge. I'm not even trolling. So that's gonna be a wedge. It's an iron and then hits a wood. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like to hear uh oh. What an idiot! All right, good. Patrick saw me a hit a bogey and he was like, you know what? I want a piece of that action. <laughs> All right, I think a finesse pitching wedge is gonna be the play here. Come on, baby. Sit. Sit, 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 sit! God, it's such a hard bounce. Such a hard bounce. It's not even on the green. That's twice now where I've been within 180 and I haven't got on the green on a, on a par 5 and 2. God's sake. Dude, I thought that was going to go into the water again. Holy shit, you lucky boy, Patrick. Right, we have a spinner that we could potentially try. I have to underswing this. Go in. What a shot. Tap in birdie again. We've used the spinner really well today. Tap in birdie again, but I wish I would have given myself an eagle chance on one of those two holes. Like a good eagle chance. We've had tap in birdies on both, but still feels like I could have done more on these par fives, I guess. Patrick Cantley somehow walks out with a par. And we're only one shot clear still. All right, it's such a difficult call, three. honestly. I I hate when the pin is there. I genuinely hate it. Such a difficult pin position. Such a bad shot, honestly. Never enough club anyway. What an idiot, man. I'm very frustrated at the moment. Uh, we're still winning. It just feels like I should be so much further ahead already. All right. Cantley is going to be pretty far away as well. We'll be putting up right, the hill from 40 foot. All right, let's just make sure we're leading by the end of this round. Now, by the yeah, end of this, this goddamn round, now, okay? Let's make sure we still have the solo lead. Because if we don't, I'll be I'll be very upset if we don't have the solo lead at the end of this thing. It's really the it's really the 14th hole that got me. Like that's what upset me. That bullshit break. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Wow, that was close. Oh, I thought he made it. Really wow. Well Come on. I mean, obviously hitting the pick well here. Judged. The, back, the backswing on the pick is so slow. Such a good, such a good shot. Short oh, game has been clutch today. Beautiful. Short game has been really, really clutch today. Get in there, son. Okay, be Lovely hurdle. Well 16. done. Really Two holes left. We have a one shot lead. One okay. shot lead with two to play in round three. We've played pretty well. We've played pretty well, in fairness. What are we? 
I think five under for the round. Not bad. We're kind of in between round two and round one. We're not popping off as bad as we were in round two, but we're playing better than round one. We're playing better in general than we have been over the weekend in the Masters recently. But that's a pretty good one. It's a long hole, this one. If Cantley doesn't hit a full driver, he's going to have a long shot in here. Like, sometimes Cantley, like, would step up and hit three wood here or something. If he does that, he's going to have 250 left. <laughs> oh, my God, he is doing it. Good. I don't mind if he has 250. I don't... I genuinely am not not joking. I don't think he can reach now. Oh, that's a disastrous shot. What is he doing? All right, he's playing the draw. He's laying up. Wow. Wow, he's laying up. Okay, we got to take advantage of this now. We have to assume he's going to make par. All right, so we need to go and try and make birdie here. Seven iron. It's 20 yards. Per yeah, I think this is good. I'm not even joking. I think we have to hit this. So good. What a swing. Come on, baby. Talk dirty to me. Oh, it stopped drawing. Good shot. Honestly, very good shot. And it's it's just top quality from where we were. It was a difficult golf shot into that win. This hole is difficult in general. To give yourself a birdie putt like that is uh, is real good. Cantley. Oh, it's really good from Cantley. It's a tap in par. I, I said we have to assume he's going to make a par. And he is going to make a par. So now we have to just worry about making a birdie. Right. It clearly does turn pretty much the whole way. Maybe just a slight move to the right. And a little bit more than that. Oh. Nah, that's gonna wander up. Ah! Damn it. Coming back. Okay. We'll move on to the last with a one shot lead. We still couldn't gain a shot on him. We still couldn't gain a shot on him, man. It's a brilliant pitch shot from Cantley. And unfortunately, we're still only one shot clear. So we head to the 18th. The 18th where it's... It's given me so much heartbreak over the last few years in this game. So much heartbreak, it's insane, this 18th hole. So let's try and conquer it here in round three to give us a little bit of confidence heading into round four, all right? It's going to be a battle all throughout round four. There's no doubt about that. It's not going to be an easy an easy route to victory like I could have hoped for. It's not going to be that. 308 to that bunker. I need to go less than that. Perfect drive. Position A+. Plus. Let's go. Gorgeous drive. 176 uh, yards. Alright. Good shot from Patty Ice. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday yeah. of golf. Good shot. It's good, man. It's real, real now, good. Up the hill. So can't lose four under, I'm five under. It's been respectable rounds from us. That's really good. Oh my god, what a shot. Come back down the hill. Come back down the hill. Do not stay up there. No way. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need the 199 at least. Oh my god. What? I overswung it a little bit, but fuck me. That is unfortunate. Alright, well, we have to get up and down. Because Patrick Cantley is 100%. I'm being serious. 100% making that putt for the birdie. I know it for a fact. So we need to just zip this down close. We need to underswing this by a lot. No way it still goes down. No way it fucking still goes down. Fuck you! How? How? I'm done with this game, man, and that shit. I literally underswung that by 12%. And it's a spinner. Why did I bother? Why did I should have flopped it. I'm not even joking. I should have just flopped that. Fucking idiot. I cannot believe I've done that, man. I genuinely just fucking cannot believe it. I'm so stupid, it's insane. Not on there enough. What a fucking line, dude. Oh boy. I'm gonna make I'm I'm lucky to make a bogey and Patrick Anton is gonna make a birdie. I'm gonna be losing heading into round Heading into round four. I just don't think it's meant to be, man. All right, count the rest of this. All right, come on, make this, this and we're still tied. Feet. 
Let's do this, he says. It's a bogey. It's a four under round. I'm actually we're tied with Canley heading into the final round. How we managed to somehow be tied with him going into the final round is beyond belief. I 100% should be winning this, but we'll have to take it on the chin. Cantley only bogey came at the first hole. Five shots clear of Naren. I'm so annoyed, dude. Final round. Here we go. Patrick Cantley will be alongside us. And I'm going to have to beat him on the day. I'm going to have to beat him on the day. It all comes down to the fourth and final round. Me versus Patrick Cantley once again at Augusta. I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out. Break.